A wind tunnel whips up a gale so researchers can check the performance of a rotor blade. Experts are testing components of wind-driven power plants. The keys to performance are blade shape and weight with a surface that will withstand exposure to decades of wind and weather. We're looking for surfaces that are dirt resistant and also have a low retarding force. That's why there is intensive research going on these days into different surfaces that don't wear out quickly. The electricity for the site comes from the nearby wind turbine. Today, there is a strong onshore breeze from the North Sea. It's helping push economic development in Bremerhaven. Shipbuilding used to be the city's main industry, but jobs for metal workers became scarce after many shipyards closed. But now there are new opportunities in the wind energy industry. This steel tube weighs more than 50 tons. It's just a small section of a wind turbine's base. 60 former shipyard workers have found new jobs here. It's good we went straight from one job to the next. Right after our old company declared insolvency, we had an opportunity to get back into steelworking at Weserwind. This year, the company is aiming to double its turnover to 80 million euros. The greatest demand will come from offshore wind farms in Europe. But there is a logistical problem. Once they've been assembled, it's difficult to transport the huge turbines. A tripod for this wind farm, for example, has a total weight of 650 tons. The diameter at the base is around 30 meters. These parts are so big and heavy, you can't move them by road anymore. So you're producing them right here in the port? Yes, that's why the location at the port is very important, as is unrestricted access to the new ships for installing the turbines. They're so big, they no longer meet the Panmax criteria. In other words, they're over 32 meters wide. The harbor isn't big enough for the new ships. The city needs new facilities to hold on to its fledgling wind turbine industry. Bremerhaven is planning a new offshore harbor for the wind energy industry that has been growing here in recent years. It's needed for the ships that bring the new large wind turbines constructed here to the offshore wind farms. Bremerhaven is now looking for a private investor to get the new port facility up and running within three years. The city is pinning all its hopes on wind energy. It's put up more than 120 million euros for the project and it could pay off. Up to now, 800 new jobs have been created and many more are expected in the next years. The up-and-coming young engineers needed by the industry are being trained at the University of Bremerhaven. The wind turbine companies are supporting the project because they need people with very special additional skills. Wind energy is multidisciplinary. We need to understand the winds, add to that aerodynamics and structural engineering, which is aircraft construction. Then there's mechanical engineering, electronics and control and measurement technologies, plus civil engineering for the tower and offshore technology. And we need people who understand how business works, because the whole thing has to be economically viable. And companies need specialists. Areva Wind is building towers for wind turbines and is looking for 100 new members of staff. The subsidiary of the French nuclear energy firm is profiting from the demand for renewable energy in Germany. Our next project is Borkum West 2. 40 wind turbines will be installed there in the North Sea. We need major resources and capacities here to be able to handle that. We're also considering setting up another production facility here in Bremerhaven. The market will decide that. Everything from the base to the rotor blades made in Bremerhaven. The city is hoping the wind energy sector will remain strong for a long time to come.